Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm your host Prince Insomniac aka Princey and today we'll be discussing a FNAF fan game that I feel lost a ton of potential and stardom. The game we'll be looking at right now is called Five Nights at Freddy's Stars. I think this is one of the most unique looking games out there and I'm not the only one who thinks this game is amazing. This game is in a project Patata has been making for more than a year and has some big updates planned, but that's not what we'll be discussing about. Where's the lost potential that I am talking about? Well, let's look at the trailer first. In the trailer, you can clearly see some mechanics like getting power-ups and batteries. You can see a lot of thought and effort was put into these trailers, and the trailer shows multiple capabilities and shows how things work like multiplayer, new animatronics to get, and more. I feel like the trailer isn't exactly how the game actually looks and is kind of another expectations versus reality, only this time instead of my expectations being based off of a different game, it's based off of their own trailer. The game hasn't been updated in two months from what I'm aware of, no patch notes, and nothing has happened really. When loading into the game, it's barren, so no one plays as much anymore due to the lack of updates and glitches slash mechanics being broken. Not to mention, when you click on it, it says that there is an error constantly for me personally, so I can't really get in. When showing the mechanics off, it's clear the game wasn't able to handle it. The tutorial itself doesn't even really show all the power-ups or really much of anything. You get the basics of the core mechanics like the Night Guard's duty or the FNAF animatronics abilities, but that's all you should really expect. When in the game, the power-ups are too overwhelming, and since since people can just spam them multiple times in a session, you are basically fucked 99% of the time. And of course, when I was playing the game, I found myself being overwhelmed and confused as to what exactly I was supposed to do. You can't really counter the power-ups exactly either when you're just forced to take it, and to my knowledge, that's just not how a game should be made, in my opinion. Now, if you're going to make gameplay out like that, then at least make a cooldown or something, because multiple things in my face makes being the security guard impossible, unless you want to see out of a sliver of your area. Playing as the animatronics is way easier than playing as the security guard. Playing as the guard is like having the ender dragon and warden on you all at once. You don't know what to do, and it's pretty much impossible to win. The guard's only way to defend themselves is, of course, the doors, but the doors become useless when there's seven other people coming from both the doors at the same time, and with how slow the door's closing is, I'm disappointed in it, I'll be honest. The only mechanic to save you is so slow at doing its job that there's no point in doing it in the first place. Being the animatronic is almost a guaranteed win, with you getting those special abilities and winning like that. You can't really do much other than that, and going to the doors in hopes of beating the guard. If you touch the door, you die and spawn at the stage, and you have to go right back to the guard's room. That's the only downside of being an animatronic. The guard gets the short end of the stick and are basically fucked over. Now, there's usually the opposite in games, where the killers are usually the ones who are most overpowered versus the survivor or the savior, but for this case, it makes it so much worse. It should have been more balanced, and this is, I believe, one of the main reasons why people left the game. The game also has made major issues with multiplayer as well. The game doesn't let a lot of people do the LAN multiplayer for some reason, but uses the other servers as well just fine. Patata has yet to actually respond to people who are asking for updates or asking for help on the LAN server side, and if the creator themselves aren't even willing to help, then what's the point? The game's going to fall apart if the creator doesn't at least listen to the fans who love their game. Now, of course, I love this game. I know it'll do just fine if they just update the game and did better advertising. To be honest, if Scott did the Fazverse or whatever it was called thing again, I'd vote for Patata because it's one of the most unique style FNAF fan games I've seen in a very long time, and I hope genuinely for the best. This game lost potential the second the mechanics became overwhelming, and the security guard got nothing good to defend over the animatronics, who got everything they needed and thus drove a massive part of their fan base away. The game is beautiful and really unique, and I encourage obviously more people to play it, as it is free and of course a ton of fun even with the bigger issues present. If you experience any of these bugs, let Patata I don't know. Maybe if more people complain, they'll finally update the game so things are more balanced and fair. And of course, the game will be linked in the comment section and description. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for 400 subscribers. We're close to 500-ish already, and I'm really grateful for everything along the way and just everyone who's been there for the crazy ride. If you enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe as that does help a lot. And uh, yeah, peace out. Bye guys.